and welcome to another commission painting vlog. This is vlog number 22, for those of you keeping track. Uh, it has been more than a month, actually more like two months, since my last vlog, and I'm going to say that that is primarily because of my new part-time job. I'm going to say it because it's mostly true. Mostly true. Uh, the thing is that with the new job, and if you didn't listen to last episode, well, <laughs> is this an episode? Are these episodes? I don't know. Uh, but if you didn't listen to the last one, uh, I took a job at my local post office, uh, which is sort of a one-man operation, uh, and it's within walking distance from my home here, as something that I could do in the mornings uh, and then do my painting in the afternoon and into the evening. And the training started in late November, which is around the time of my last vlog, and then uh, kind of went through the beginning of December, and then I was sort of left on my own, to my own devices at the office, and I have been doing that ever since. And what has been difficult about that is um, sort of figuring out my whole schedule and how I was going to fit painting back into this thing that now I had to do. Because, of course, with the painting, it's all about when do I want to do it? How do I want to fit it into my schedule? Um, do I want to do it today? I, I wish it were as nice as all that because for the most part it was like pretty much have to paint every day and the only time I don't is if I'm really sick. Uh, because uh, you know you, you always got to be making money and you always got to be working. So uh, but anyway the what was difficult with the training is that it was it was full time for quite a while and which meant that my painting sort of dipped down to a lot less, which was okay because I'd gotten a lot fewer uh, commissions because December, January is always lame as far as that goes. Uh, and then when I was back to just doing it part-time, uh, or it, yeah, back to doing it, I guess, back, sort of back, well, I started doing it part-time. When I went from full-time to part-time, then uh, it was really just a matter of sorting out the rest of it. So, interestingly, um, it appears that I, I, in my mind, it was, you know, the, the day would end and the post office job would be done and then I would come home, and this is walking, by the way, because I'm eight minutes walk from work, which is awesome. Uh, I would come home and I would sit down at my desk and I would start painting. And the reality is that uh, when I'm done at the post office, I'm about ready for lunch. So I have lunch and there's kind of a half hour to an hour period of adjustment between sort of clicking my brain over from non-creative job to creative job that I didn't realize was going to happen and then at that point, then I can sit down and really focus and do good work. But without that period, I sort of sit at the table for that period, feeling like I don't know what I'm doing anymore. So, yeah, getting the brain back into gear after working at the post office takes a little bit. But it's okay. I, I've sort of gotten used to it, and I'm, and I'm in a good... I'm in a good spot now as ter in, in terms of my schedule. And I think I've figured it all out. Uh, and the commissions have been picking up again. And at the moment I'm working on more Kingdom Death stuff. This is, what is her name? Percival. This is Percival. And you can't see her because it's not there. No, it wants to focus on my face. Don't focus on my face. No! Okay, this isn't working. That's <laughs> uh, a little better. Here, come back here. Come back to the hand. Yeah, it's not working. Oh, there we go. 
Oh, well, you'll see pictures of her later. Um, not, probably not on this video. If you don't already do it, you should total, totally follow me on Flickr or perhaps Twitter, maybe Instagram. Flickr really is the best though. My Flickr pool is where I put everything. And so if you kind of want to see what I'm doing when it's done, that's the place to look. Twitter, I'm kind of use more for uh, work in progress stuff. Instagram, I'm not a huge fan of, and I know that's really weird, but I just I don't really like it. So I normally post finished work there. Sometimes odd work in progress stuff, but Twitter gets more of that than than Instagram. Anyway, I wish you could see this right now because it's it's an amazing mini, and I'm really really happy with it. But this one. I do have pictures of, and I'll, I'll show you the picture of this one. This is the, the newest flower night. I think this is the third flower night I've done. Um, and it's still, it's done, but it's still sitting here on the table because it hasn't been shipped out yet. But it also had, well, I'll show you. It's, I got some uh, of the survivors that go with the flower night, the flower night survivors. Essentially, oh, the... It, it's the armor kits, is what those are called, not the survivors, although they are survivors. I'm babbling a little bit today, have you noticed that? <clears throat> uh, it's because it's been two months since the last time I talked to y'all and I'm feeling talkative, I guess. Anyway, uh, but rather than just do this, why don't we talk a little bit about, you know, what we've missed over the past two months. And I know I talked about it in the last um, in the last episode, but I don't think I had the photos done. And I'm not going to go on and on about this anyway, but take a look at these dinosaurs. Take a look at this dinosaur, because there's one dinosaur. <laughs> Here's one dinosaur and one elephant. Uh, but have a look, because... I'm super thrilled with these. Uh, these are large resin kits. Uh, I know the elephant, I believe, is 120th scale. I can't remember what the T-Rex is, but oh my gosh, super, super happy. They are neat, neat pieces, and I would spend the rest of my life painting stuff like this if I could. Uh, they're fun. They're really fun, and I know I've mentioned it before, but if you ever get a chance to do a really large kit like this, do it. Do it, because especially if you've been painting miniatures uh, for a long, long time, being able to apply all of those skills and that focus that you've used on tiny, tiny things and do something really big, it's very freeing and very fun. So, anyway, I don't want to spend too much time on it because I do know that I talked about it and probably showed you a little bit of the work in progress on the last video. But after that, I did some more Halo stuff. Um, for example, the two large models. And these were uh, Kickstarter exclusives. Uh, one of these is a USCM Marine, is it? Is that what they're called? Anyway, the, uh, they've got the Marines. I can't remember what they're called. <laughs> There's like UCM. Oh wait, no, that's drop ship, drop drop zone commander. USCM is probably right. Uh, and then you got the Covenant Elite, which is super badass. They are so cool. Actually, here I have one of them handy just so that you can see size wise what they look like. So <laughs> it's kind of funny actually. This is the uh, Flower Knight is essentially the same size, a little spindlier, a little smaller actually, than the Marine. Um, yeah, so those were, those were really cool and fun. And of course I did some other uh, of the Halo Ground Combat stuff over the past two months. But I did several videos uh, on the first part of that project, and I didn't think it was worth kind of rehashing that, because essentially all I was doing was the same thing again, just on a third set of the models. I did some more 40K stuff. 
We've got these uh, Cataphracty Pattern Terminators in their yellow gold. Man, I really like that color. That's uh, it's really, really nice. Uh, and I believe that is primarily war colors. Yeah, I think it is. Uh, and then these were great. Uh, these are the Mechanicum Vol Volterax Stratos Automata. They look like, oh, what were those things called? They're kind of nurgly uh, things with the little propellers on the side of them. Very similar to these, except they're Nurgle. Um, but these are not. But very happy with these. And this was the uh, inspiration for the Mars base video uh, that I did earlier this month. Or was that last month? No, that was this month. Um, I had a chance to do some more Reaper stuff. I'm always liking the Reaper minis. Uh, I did this vampire guy and weird necromancer guy and evil guy with armor and dragon dude. But the interesting thing about all of these is that they these are all being used as alternate descent minis, uh, which I thought was, um, well, was kind of interesting. Uh, I have mixed feelings about the Descent Minis. Uh, some of them I like, some of them not so much. And the idea of using cool metal minis uh, in place of them really appeals to me. I got some more Hero Forge minis. And this one here is, uh, he's, he's like Cobra Kai dude from uh, the, the Karate Kid. And this is a, uh, this is actually a metal. This is one of the bronze printed um, Hero Forge models. And those are really nice. Now the thing about the bronze, it's not so much that the, the material prints better than any of the other materials. What makes it good is that uh, they seem to polish them before they send them out. So when you get them, uh, the, the the most prominent surfaces, the ones that aren't recessed, are super smooth because they've, they've run it over a buffing wheel. Uh, and so what you end up getting uh, looks like a, you know, it looks like a statuette like you'd buy at a uh, sort of a, a, like a jewelry store or something. And they paint up just nice and it, it's got a little heft to it and so it feels like a, feels like a metal mini. But also, since it's bronze, it's also super strong. <laughs> you don't have any of the breakage problems that you have with some of the other stuff. And, of course, we have the Flower Knight and the corresponding uh, Flower Armor Kit folks. And, again, and that may not seem like all that much for two months, but keep in mind that there is some Halo stuff in there, and I wasn't painting all that much uh, through much of December, so that's that's where we are. And of course, now, I, like I said, I've been working on more Kingdom Death. Um, I've got uh, the white speaker, which you aren't going to see because yeah, there you go. She looks like that, but she's all black. And I've got oh man. This is going to be sad because you're not going to have pictures of these until like next month. This is Fade. What I really find interesting about Fade is she is clearly pregnant. And uh, I don't think I've ever painted a pregnant figure before. She's also holding a baby behind her back. Actually, let me show you the picture. This is, this is the picture and that's a pretty good depiction of what the model looks like. So you can see she's got the, you know, kind of swollen belly and baby behind her back. Although interestingly in the picture she doesn't look pregnant and if you think about it she's holding a baby that's pretty young. So you would think that she was perhaps recently pregnant. But the model pretty clearly pregnant. Anyway, uh, and then uh, another Twilight, 
Twilight Night. I've done one of these before. I don't think I did this one. I think I did the male. The one that looks like Link. And that's where I am at the moment. But I'm also going to be doing... I've got this cool uh, Necron-like model that I'm doing. This comes from the Ukraine from a company called Grimskull? Grimskull. Grimskull.com For all of your Necron needs, Grimskull.com uh, Yeah. It was... It, this part of it wasn't hard to put together, but I haven't quite figured out how it goes on the base. It has this really insanely nice sculpted base, but my guess is that you just figure out a good place to glue stuff and then you glue it down because <laughs> there's no real slots or anything. It's just like, yeah, you know, somewhere in there is fine. Uh, and for those of you who've been waiting on a 3D printing video, uh, I haven't done one in a while um, because I went through a period of much failure and my next video is going to discuss failure of 3D printing because I just got really depressed about it. <laughs> and it's like, you know what, I'm busy. I don't want to deal with it. And again, I'll go into that. And in fact, I'm probably going to do that as soon as I'm done here. But I did another one of these because, you know, I'm always doing the trophies. This one is for Commander 2016. And what's interesting is, um, I think this is the fourth trophy I've done. I've never had to change the name. <laughs> And again, this is for the uh, the leagues that we do at the store, which is Greenfield Games in Greenfield, Massachusetts. For those of you who are curious, it's my store. Uh, yeah, so so 3D printing has been minimal. Now, uh, some of you may have seen the video. Oh, that so that wasn't the video I did this month. As I harken back to the one video that I did, which was the Mars base. That was that was December. Yeah. The video did I did I did earlier this month was about Blood and Plunder, which is why we're gonna talk about games that I've played recently, which is Blood and Plunder. <laughs> uh, I will be doing a full review of the game uh, when I can get around to it. But my son and I did actually get in a game of Blood and Plunder last weekend, so like um, six days ago. And we were pretty happy with it. It does commit one of my game design sins, things that I think uh, no game should do, and it's a really simple one. When you have a bonus, it should be a positive, and when you have a negative, that number should be negative. For example, in Blood and Plunder, if you get a bonus to your to your figure because or you know your model is going to get a bonus for some reason when he's rolling his dice, that's an, it. It subtracts from the target number rather than adding to the dice roll. So you could have I have a bonus of negative two. Or I have a negative of plus two. And I just find that really, really off-putting. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. I don't think it's just me. I, come on. You would agree that if you found out that you have a bonus, it should be a positive number. Plus something. Not minus something. It's not even that easy to... Or not even that hard to fix. But... Anyway, but aside from that, and I, 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 ugh, those are things that I get hung up on. But aside from that, it's actually a really nice set of rules that I'm very pleased that I did the Kickstarter with. And not a big Kickstarter guy. I've done a handful. And most of them are really small, and this one was a little bit bigger. And much bigger because I wanted a boat. <laughs> And I got a big boat. Uh, this is this is the frigate. No, I'm sorry. This is the brigantine, not the frigate. The frigate was the next size up. And that is going to be a future video. 
and probably not that future. I think I really want to do this and I really want to do it soon. Um, we're just back to that figuring out times and this might just be one where I have to break into my, you know, evening me time in order to do this. But that's okay because I really, really want it. But I also have a bunch of uh, pirate minis for it and I will discuss it in far more detail and if you want to know the sort of general overview of it and you didn't watch my Blood and Plunder video earlier this month, then what are you waiting for? Go have a look and you'll get to see more about that game. So I do have some ideas for other videos that I have coming up. Um, aside from that, uh, I know I only got one done last month and that was kind of depressing. But I think I'm okay. I think I'm good to go now. Sometimes uh, I find it difficult to kind of break away from just doing the painting to actually getting the, the uh, camera, the what have you, up <laughs> and running uh, so that I can record some video for y'all. For uh, but I think I'm motivated again. I think I'm going to go. I mean, obviously the, the the work thing was one of the things that got in the way, but it's not the only thing. Uh, it's sometimes it's sometimes difficult just to get going. But I'm good. Like I said, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna jump right from this to doing the uh, the 3D printing video, and we'll get the other stuff done. And I really want to. And you know, if I can find the time to start working on the ship, I'll be happy. Also doing the minis for Blood and Plunder. But I think for now, even though it's been two months, it seems like a short video. Uh, but for now, I think I'm going to be done here. And we can all, you know, talk on the next one. So thank you everybody for watching. And for my Patreon supporters, I've gotten a couple of new ones over the last couple of months. And I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And But that's going to do it for now. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!